hello guys welcome to new video uh, in this video i want to talk about uh, styles and uh, move our text styles move our space in one um, uh, one specific class and uh, use it depend on which breakpoints we have uh, depend on that we pass uh, specific styles and a specific space okay let's go in last video I add this top navigation uh, but in this video I want to add my styles and uh, some improve do add, uh, add some improvement for example I say uh, I, I want to add uh, first of all uh, let's check which styles uh, we have for example I choose these Mahdi Mirza the text and check what's happened if I if I am in small size uh, what is font size of this text and if I'm in uh, large size uh, what's the font okay I can check it you can see these are black 62 in here it's black and uh, 62 in here 62 and in here 34 and I <coughs> and I added in here we have for example h1 size let's add it in the styles yeah, I show you in uh, another video I have a text style okay in this text style uh, we know we have a font size we know font family is uh, font uh, font weight is font weight dot v19 we know that it's it doesn't different about my size okay we have these and uh, i can uh, i need some variable or something that uh, say to this text which font size is need to use okay what can I do uh, I can do for example final uh, uh, black or h1 uh, large size we know that it's uh, 62 final h1 large or small size we have 34 maybe we can do it to add all the size in here and check when uh, you have a text constructor i want to we can add for example because we have a two option i can use a boolean uh, is large and past false or we can add it in final and add it in here maybe i can use no i can't use it okay and i check is large if it's large i use h1 large size and if it's not i use h1 small size and we have this error i can uh, add it because it's need to be double and we have this i think it's good for now maybe we change it after and you can see uh, when we use a uh, text i can remove this when we use text it's need a constructor and it's need say check is that large or not we can do it in here and with flutter adaptive, flutter adaptive scaffold we have some things like that breakpoints dot small and up dot is active with this context and we have check uh, if we are in small or medium until large not 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 exact large we get true about that and we know we are in we are in 
uh, small mode for example I can add a final boolean or I can we uh, final boolean uh, uh, is large like that and we need to large is large and pass it here uh, I can remove it late final yeah and we check is large or not and small and up is return false or maybe we can check if large is active is large is true and otherwise it's false and we pass is large in here okay we have some error I need to add a late for that to uh, uh, fixed error and okay we have uh, some styles and for that I can uh, for example this is in my header and I go to my uh, where is okay I want to uh, remove these as small or we can uh, keep it in here I go to the desktop header and I have final or no app styles app style and late I said to uh, I put it we need to remove const and in build I put app styles app style context and we need to remove this const and yeah I, I, I think I need to remove this for now comment what happened I say in in a okay okay in a large okay I need put small and up because we don't have any small and it's uh, used black I, I use a small and up for all the size load these and you can see let's for check for some checking uh, I wanna remove my uh, image or comment my image and check and it's not changed because I use uh, these size okay I know that I have app styles dot text dot h1 this is h1 and we can see when I move up my text size my, my top navigation is load and I have a big text when I move to medium and lot and small we I have a small size we have for now for one of my text I have a, a responsive text size and responsive text style depend on my context and my uh, size and uh, depend on that this class is return uh, a specific uh, size or style we add this app style in here but uh, it's not very best practice to add and repeat in my widget all of that app styles app styles in build and put context and it's it's very duplicate code uh, in another video we change the code and uh, and at some uh, state checking and uh, we add uh, some automatic we add some logic to automatically just pass a style uh, for example we have a app style in global and after uh, and every time we need that we call we use this style and this style every time knows uh, what is my screen size and depend on that 
uh, we this is gives us a uh, very exact uh, text style or uh, for example a space size okay uh, in this video uh, we talk about uh, add some uh, const item everything uh, and this is very dynamic because we check what is my size and uh, get the exact uh, things we need and depend on size but uh, it's not complete I complete this uh, and I complete this after the video and in another video I show you the complete file because it's maybe take a time I need a, some check in a uh, whole the codes we write to get there and add some text and space and all const we have in this project and show you uh, this file uh, and uh, I and in, in uh, another video I create a github repo and push it in a github to uh, to you can uh, download it and uh, clone it and check it okay thank you and uh, to and uh, goodbye